the School of Antioch was one of the two major centers of the study of biblical exegesis and theology during late antiquity, the other was the Catechetical School of Alexandria. This group was known by this name because the advocates of this tradition were based in the city of Antioch one of the major cities of the ancient Roman Empire. While the Christian intellectuals of Alexandria emphasized the allegorical interpretation of scriptures and tended toward a Christology that emphasized the union of the human and the divine, those in Antioch held to a more literal and occasionally typological exegesis and a Christology that emphasized the distinction between the human and the divine in the person of Jesus Christ. The school in general tended to what might be called, in a rather loose sense, an adoptionist Christology. Nestorius, before becoming Patriarch of Constantinople, had been a monk at Antioch and had there become imbued with the principles of the Antiochian theological school. The school of Antioch is best divided into three periods. The early school. The earliest author known of this period is Theophilus of Antioch. Then there is a gap of a century and in the first half of the 5th century there are three known Antiochian authors. The best known is Eusebius of Emesa, other representatives are Acacius of Caesarea and Theodore Bishop of Heracli. The Middle School. This period includes at least three different generations. Diodorus of Tarsus, who directed and Sigma Caparata Tau Eta Rho Iota Rho Micron knew he may have founded, among his disciples, the best known are John Chrysostom and Theodorus of Mops Westia. The main figure of the third generation was Nestorius. The late school. After the Council of Ephesus, the school of Antioch loses prestige. Apparently only two later authors are known, Basil of Seleucia and Gennadius of Constantinople. 